Let's create a DMZ interface with a virtual IP that is destined to a specific file server. Coming up. Our DMZ interface is the place to handle all our web servers, file servers, and any other servers um, that are connected to our FortiGate at the edge or in a specific segment of the organization. So let's create a DMZ interface. And from there, we will create a file server and a virtual IP. So let's name the DMZ, let's name it servers all right and the role is dmz we will um, configure a static ip so let's just make that 192.168.8.1 that will be our gateway interface to the dmz but we will not use any administrative protocols since it is a secure place that we do not want anyone to get into it. Now, DMZ, as in the WAN interface, doesn't, you can, you can use it with a DHCP server. It is not recommended. So when you choose role as a DMZ, you will not see the DHCP option available. All right. So that's our DMZ at the server's interface. So let's create a file server. So let's move to policies and objects, addresses, create new address. Let's name it file server. All right, and we will use the address 192.168.8.9 um, slash 32. And the interface is our servers. Don't forget to choose the interface. So in any case that you create a policy with the um, uh, server's interface, you will only see the address that is specific to that interface. Okay, now the third thing is to create the virtual IP. So let's create a new virtual IP. Anyone that wants to get into our file server will need to have the um, virtual IP in the policy itself. So the external IP address of our 48 is 10.100.102.1 and it will be mapped to our server. So let's just um, map the internal address that is 192.168.8.9. And we can also use specific um, ports, so we can use 21 if it is um, if it is an FTP server. We can use any specific um, interface port that will be mapped to the server port. All right. So now we have the virtual IP, and let's create the policy itself. Let's name it to file server. So incoming interface is our WAN interface. Outgoing interface is our server's interface source. Uh, now we can create a specific group of users, but for now we will use all. The destination is our new uh, VIP object, which is file server. Schedule is always and service. Again, we can use specific uh, protocols, but we will use for now all. The thing is that you do not need NAT. You have already mapped the internal address to the external address when we chose the virtual IP. And from here, you can use any security profile that is relevant to the uh, specific file server. All right.